Let's do it. Unity on Real Engine? Which is better? Let's do a test. I'm Arnus. And I'm Charlie. And we recently graduated from our game development course. We were working together on a college project using C++ with SFML. We made a game called no. Max and Justice. The game was pretty awesome. But we both argued how easier it would be to make in a game engine. For Arnus, it was Unity. And for me, it was Unreal Engine. So here's the test. Using different engines, we can make the same game in 24 hours. So right off the bat, the biggest difference was probably us and not the engines, and how we approach things differently. But we're going to look past that for this video and just generally talk on their different topics on the engines. So let's jump into programming. So Unity uses C Sharp, and if you're coming into Unity with a previous experience in C Sharp, you'll find it a lot easier to uh, make games in it, and you'll probably come across the same logic problems that you would have otherwise. And if you've got no experience with programming, I think Unreal is pretty good because it's got visual scripting, which is what I use, the blueprinting. Uh, you can pick it up pretty fast. It might be a bit slower than actual programming, though, or co coding. So on to asset stores, and we try to use the same asset pack uh, so our games have a similar aesthetic. Um, and the Unity asset store, you'll actually find that items would be usually of less quality. That's not to say they're bad, but on average, and they'll also be less expensive though. Yeah, and the Unreal Marketplace seemed to be higher quality, but a little more expensive. But they recently updated to uh, give content creators more revenue share, so maybe the prices will go down soon. So under Communities, uh, under Unity, the engine has really well-written documentation. It's quite extensive, and you'll find plenty of people asking questions online, so you'll find answers to any problem that you might have. Yeah, Unity's uh, documentation looked pretty great. I thought Unreal was a little more uh, harder to find what I was looking for. Though, i got to give a shout-out to the Epic community manager that jumped into our stream. Yeah, we didn't see any uh, Unity community managers jump in, so they must have been having a tea break or something like that. Uh, Twitch slash dev clash. Yeah, jump in. <laughs> but uh, let's talk about graphics. So, Unreal Engine is kind of known to have superior graphics. Uh, maybe it didn't show in this these two little mini-games, because I didn't put too much time in on either side. Yeah, um, Unity, however, the graphics are usually of lower, lower quality, but it, it is catching up with the latest update even. Um, though, it's not to say, if you want to make a game look good in Unity, yeah, you definitely can. Uh, I don't want to talk about file size when I'm on the Unreal side, but uh, my project was pretty large. I think it was like 140 megabytes. Yeah, it's probably something to do with those fancy graphics, but uh, in the end, the Unity uh, project had under 20 megabytes. So. Yeah, I might take blame. I don't know if my optimization has a problem to it, but I think it is known that Unity is better at file sizes. Yeah, of course, there's a lot of topics and areas that we didn't cover, and we could really go in depth here, but we wanted to keep the video short. Yeah, we didn't go scientific with this, we're just doing this for a bit of fun, and if it interests you, you can follow along at uh, Dev Clash on Twitch, and if you want to follow our social medias, it'll be with the video. But uh, let's look at what the games turned out like, and we'll talk about that now. So, what the hell are these games that you've even made? So Paramedic is a game where you play as a solo paramedic and you have to heal the patient in the back of the ambulance while dodging traffic in front. So here you can see the player taking the drill out of the patient with the little timer, quickly jumping back into the driver's seat to dodge the oncoming cars. We both made it so the cars are randomly generated, so the player always has to keep the eyes on the road at all times. So here in Unity we can see that the uh, player is dodging oncoming cars, and here we grab the pliers and take out the drill bit. Now as the uh, player is taking out the drill bit, you notice that once he takes it out, blood starts bleeding heavily from the uh, wound. So here's the same scene but in the Unreal version. We tried to stick to the similar scripts on how each game plays out, and you might also notice how we had some joke items added in, such as hand grenades and handcuffs that if you click on, uh, you're not going to like the outcome. If you end up using the grenade, it'll actually blow you up and you lose the game, and if you use the handcuffs, you'll get cuffed and you can't try it. So in order to keep the tone of the game consistently comedic, I decided to record some voice lines just for the uh, sense of humor they provide. So you notice that the uh, gambling driver is constantly freaking out. You know, he's like, he's probably the worst ambulance driver in the world. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. Uh, I, meanwhile, I just focus on the models. So we kind of shared assets during this, uh, to speed along the process and making both games. So here we have a scene where the uh, patient's healed. And once the patient's healed, the uh, hospital actually spawns in. We're able to drop to the hospital. And this is where the end of the game is. We both tried to do some fancy uh, animations for the endings. Uh, here's the Unity one. And uh, here's the Unreal one. No, I actually prefer the Unreal uh, <laughs> one in this <laughs> case. You know. But uh, yeah, so that's the games. Uh, if you want to check them out, you can go play them online. We'll upload them on Game Jolt. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.